What's up guys, I'm here with one of my athletes, Nevin, and we are going to be teaching you how to hit a better block today. That's what we're talking about! Come on. So with the block, there's a lot of confusion. A lot of people will just stick their leg out and just expect a perfectly strong block leg to happen, but that's not really how it works. We should just get rid of the term block leg altogether and think of more of a block side because when we're reaching out with our block side arm, we want to time it effectively so that our block arm is now working together with our block leg. So it's not just a block leg. We get a block shoulder, a block hip, a block knee, and a block foot. We want that whole side to be blocking. Now that we have the terms block side and throwing side defined, we could get into what that really means. The block side is going to be active and the throwing side is going to be passive, okay? So for me, a right-handed thrower, when I land on back foot contact, I'm gonna land with a soft back foot and my throwing arm is gonna be super relaxed. That being said, my left leg and my left arm is reaching out and it's strong. So that way my entire block side works together to stop all my momentum from my approach and then I go forward and throw. All right, in this drill, we are going to use a band and we are going to practice using that active block side and passive throwing side. Nevin's arm is gonna be completely relaxed back here. He's gonna get a soft back foot there, okay? So he's gonna get a little bit of bend in that knee and then this left side, he's practicing getting it strong, okay? So this is gonna be strong here, straight leg. He's locked here at the hip. And then this left arm is gonna be up and it's gonna be nice and strong, okay? That back arm is completely relaxed right now. This is one of my favorite block drills to really feel that back hip firing and feel the tension from the ground up through the chest. So what Nevin's gonna do here is he's gonna hit a block position here. So as a right-handed thrower, his left arm is going to be strong. His left hip is going to be strong. His left leg is gonna be strong. And then what I'm doing here is I'm gonna resist him this way to prevent his chest from opening up. And he, what he's gonna be doing is driving that back hip forward. So we're practicing hitting the block, driving the hip forward, and then keeping the throwing arm long. Once we establish the feeling of the block side in some position drills, we're gonna start to get more of a dynamic feel. So a very important thing for athletes is to practice their block while using medicine balls because when you're going out to the runway and you're trying to work on your block leg, but you're also trying to get the proper arm slot, throw through the point, and you're worrying about how the javelin is flying in general, it's going to distract you from your main technical focus, which should be the block, if that's what we're working on right now. So with the medicine ball, we're just taking some nice and easy throws into the wall. We're not worrying about how it's gonna fly. We're not worrying about arm slot or anything like that. We're just focusing on the lower half and the lower half only. So the first drill we're gonna do is a band resisted med ball shot put. Okay, so I'm gonna put the band around Nevin's waist here. I'm gonna be pulling him back. He's gonna take three steps and throw. Now we're gonna speed things up a little bit and get rid of the band. So now Nevin's gonna do the same drill but without the band going at a faster speed. Still focusing on keeping that left side strong, firing the back hip through. Now we're gonna bring the band back in, different band, and we're gonna do over speed med ball shot put. So the purpose of this one is I'm going to pull Nevin forward so he goes even faster than the last drill. That way he gets used to holding his block side strong at a higher rate of speed. Once we're done establishing that feeling with the medicine ball, we're gonna come out and see if we can replicate that with the javelin. What we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be taking a one-step throw with an active block side arm. So what we're gonna be doing is as we throw, the goal is to keep the block side arm nice and high after the release. What this does is it has the entire left side block strong so that when we hit that block, our energy is able to go through the end of the runway rather than hitting it here, throwing, and then potentially falling off to the side. Once we get a few reps in with that one step, we're going to move it back and do a three step with the same exact idea.
There you have it. Those are the best drills to improve your block. Be sure to check out my video where I explain how exactly to train for a stronger block in the weight room. Ah!